in poly relationships, you don't so much break up always as transition. Those relationships never end, do they? Some of them don't. They're like lobster traps. You're just dragging along on your boat slowly down. If you know you're ready to transition, how do you transition? I'm Reed Mahalko from ReadAboutSex.com. I'm Kathy Martelli from the TheIntimacyDojo.com. So how do you transition, Kathy? I'm just going to pass the book. I want to <laughs> see what she has to say. Thank you. So if you know you're ready to transition, you can... I like to make lists. I'm an engineer and lists are great for me. I write down the things that I really want to keep, the things that I value about the relationship, and the things that were not so great outside my Venn diagram. And if I'm clear I don't want, say, a romantic or a sexual relationship with that person, I look for ways that I can give them that are still a yes. Because a lot of people, when we're separating or transitioning, there's a lot of insecurity that comes up. But I like that. That worked really well. Why are we doing something different? And if you can give them very clearly that I really love this about our relationship and I'd like to keep that, that's really important to me, that can give some security and some gentleness to the transition that it might not otherwise have. Mm -hmm. The tricky part with non-monogamy, and this is also, this also happens in certain communities where people explore dating mm -hmm. and end up dating and sleeping with their friends. Like it happens like in college, um, and it happens in, in other communities as well, high school too. Um, but if let's say that you're, you know, you're past the college part or you're more in your adult life. Um, <clears throat> in the poly community, what's interesting is you end up usually running into each other over and over mm -hmm. again. And I think something that's important to mention is that even some poly people don't like being friends with their exes. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to love everybody. And this is tricky in polyamory because it's all about many loves and like we're supposed to be evolving and we're all heart open and la 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 la. You might be somebody who's just like, I like having my lovers and then if we ever break up, we're not going to be friends. Because I just can't do that. Yeah. And to the extent that you, you can become clear about those things, warn people ahead of time, because you should, I think, be having that what if we were to break up conversation at the beginning of dating? We have a video actually on exit strategies, which is so powerful. I really encourage you, wherever you are in a relationship, to have that conversation. And also understanding that, especially if you're new to poly, um, you may not know any of these things about yourself. Mm -hmm. And then maybe you've never had a bunch of breakups, so you've never been in love and then had to fall out of love, which is its own brain chemistry hell. Uh, read uh, Dawkins, The Selfish Gene, if you want to learn more about how that all happens. Um, but the idea of like, wow, like I've never had five relationships at the same time and then had three breakups happening at the same time. Like, what do I do? You will, hopefully, and this is kind of like a mixed blessing, get better at breakups and transitions mm -hmm. Um, if you're poly and if you're just monogamous, there are a lot of people who had to learn that. So take care to understand yourself about what do you need when you're transitioning a relationship so that you can find your words better, be better at self-care, and also warn the people that you're in relationships with. Mm -hmm. And understand that it's I think it's okay not to be best buddies with your exes, just as much as it's okay to be best buddies with your exes. Yeah. And you have to figure that out for yourself. And, and that might even change over time or change from person to person. It might change based on how they respond to what you'd like to create. It might be a bottom line for them. They may not want to have a relationship with you. Yeah. Or you're the one who doesn't want to have a relationship with them. But they're like, oh my God, but, but I, I'm friends with all my exes. And you're like, but you're not friends with this thing. Or whatever that is for you. Yeah. Again, role modeling healthy relationships, even if that means healthy relationships while you're ending a relationship, being transparent, showing up for the difficult conversations, not being abusive to each other, those things um, are healthy for open relationships as well as closed relationships. Yeah, we hope this helps. If you have specific questions or thoughts about transitioning relationships, would you leave a comment below? We'd love to know. Have a great day. <laughs>